Hello Code Gurus, welcome back and in this video tutorial we are going to see how to set up a custom domain name using AWS Amplifier Console. So as a part of this video tutorial we are going to follow following steps. First we are going to register a domain name and then we will configure that re registered domain name with our application. And once we have successfully configured our root domain name with our application, we will proceed and see how to create a subdomain and how to configure that subdomain name with any one of the lower environments like test or dev. All right then, let's proceed to our AWS console and perform the following steps. So first, once you are into your AWS console, go to find services and type route 53. So once your Route 53 page is loaded, you can register your domain name under Register Domain Name section over here on your left hand side. So just go ahead and click on Register Domains. So if you have not registered any domain name, you will see a welcome screen. If you have already registered a domain name like me over here, so you will see the list of domains which you have registered over here. So in order to register a new domain name, just click on register domain and then provide with some domain name or whatever the domain name which you would like to register. So here I'll just say some domain and then just click on check. So your Route 53 will perform some quick check whether that domain name is available or not. And if you like any of the domain name, just click on add to, just click on add to cart and then click on continue. So here, since I've already registered my domain name, I don't want to do that. So I'll just click on console. So what happens once you click on the continue in my previous screen is, you will be redirected to a screen called as pending requests. So once you place your order, AWS will take some time to register that domain name, maybe a couple of hours. And once that domain has been successfully registered, it will be moved under registered domain names. And it also does one more additional step is, it even creates something called as hosted zones. So all right, so if you are able to see your domain name under your registered domains, that means you have successfully registered your domain name with AWS. And again, it's not mandatory that you should register your domain name with AWS you are free to go ahead and register your domain name with any third party domain register providers like GoDaddy, etc. So you can come back and you can always configure that domain name over here under your Route 53. All right then, so now that we have registered our domain name, we will go ahead and see how to configure this domain name to our web application. So let's proceed to our AWS Amplifier console. So under your service section, just type AWS Amplify and you will be redirected to your AWS Amplify console. So here, if you see, we have already created a web application called CodeGuru. So just click on that. So now on the left hand side, you should see something called as Domain Management. So just click on Domain Management. Now on this domain management screen, on the right hand side, you should see something called as add domain. Just click on add domain. And once you select your, or once you click your mouse over here on the search bar, it will auto populate all your domains registered with your Route 53. So in our case, we have just registered only codeguru.io. So just select that. And then click on configure domain. So what it does is, it creates a two entry records into your Route 53. One with your root domain name, the other one with www.codeguru.io, which will be in turn redirected to your HTTPS codeguru.io. So in this way, whatever the domain or whatever the domain address which your user types, he always lands into your web application. So just click on save. So this would take a couple of hours. So here what internally AWS does is it registers a HTTPS certificate with Certificate Manager 
and that certificate will be configured with AWS CloudFront. So it would take a couple of hours to finish this process. So now how do we go ahead and uh, create a subdomain and configure it with our application? So once you have successfully registered your root domain name, you will be redirected to a section called as domain management. And instead of add domain, now you should see something called as manage subdomains. So just click on manage subdomains. Now, if you want to add any other subdomain like develop, so here you can go ahead and say, I want to configure with a develop. So now just click on update. So what your AWS Amplify console does is it creates a subdomain called as develop.codeguru.io and configures your Route 53 to point to that particular web application. So again, it would take a couple of hours so because it has to propagate to across all the regions AWS, uh, wherever it has, wherever your AWS regions are. So it would take a couple of hours to propagate your settings. So that's it. With this, we have successfully configured our root domain and as well as your subdomain and configured with our web application. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like and share this video with your friends. And if you have any feedback, please provide that thing in our comment section. And please do not forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking our channel icon over here. And you can find our most recent videos over here. Thank you.